Well, for the food service market, which is the market we sell into, pizza is a great option. It's always a bestseller. So I think something like 83% of people will have eaten pizza in the last month in the UK. It's the most popular food when eating out in restaurants. Um, I think it's the second most bought food in supermarkets and, and the fourth most for takeaways. Um, so it's perennially popular and it's also very high margin. You know, you're selling something that people will pay good money for. Uh, very customizable as well, so you can make um, vegan pizzas, vegetarian pizzas, meat-based pizzas. So there's an awful lot you can do with the, with the base products. I'm James Sturdy, uh, the company Sturdy Foods, a company that I founded in 2013. We manufacture um, a range of quality pies uh, and then we're well known for doing sourdough pizza products. So we produce uh, pizza dough balls and pizza bases and we give operators the opportunity to serve great quality products and consistent products um, but without needing skilled labour in-house. So today, welcome to our production kitchen. I'm going to give you a really quick demonstration of one of our best-selling products, which are these sourdough pizza bases. These are a great way to serve fantastic quality pizza, really quick to serve, really simple to serve, cook in just a few minutes. So as an individual, I've been um, very passionate about the food industry, especially the pizza market. Um, I've had previous businesses um, selling pizza, pizza delivery company. And in the last seven years, I've built up an awful lot of contacts um, and a lot of knowledge and a lot of relationships with people in the market. Um, and that's why um, we want to create this series of films to give people that education and best practice knowledge. Davide, you've worked in a lot, a lot of restaurants, you've developed menus. So t talk us through a little bit about what are the common mistakes people make when they're starting to serve pizza. So if you're starting from scratch, what, what pitfalls are there that you need to avoid? I think the most common mistake that I've ever seen around is to have a very large and wide menu mm -hmm. with a lot of toppings, so which actually complicates the operation and the smoothness of the service. So what we're hoping to achieve by doing this series of films is first of all to showcase what we can offer as a business, um, how we can help the food service market, and also to provide some really valuable educational content um, for people um, in terms of marketing and, and ways for them to be able to run the businesses more profitably. Uh, we've got a customer who's a visitor attraction. They sold £150,000 of the pizza last year and we set them up with a £3,000 investment. We've supplied the, the pizza bases going forward to them um, and they've done incredibly well with it. So they've more than paid for, uh, for the investment there. That is a hell of an investment, isn't it? Three grand? Yeah. yeah, pretty good, isn't it? Why are pizzas such a good option for restaurants and cafes and bars? Uh, number one, it's always popular. So 83% of people in the last month will have eaten pizza in the UK. Um, it always sells on a menu, it's, it's high margin and it's really adaptable. It's able to be changed according to tastes. It's a product that a lot of people think is going to be expensive and difficult to put on the menu and we're here to show you that's not, that's not necessarily the case. So as well as supplying products, we've also got knowledge and expertise with various partners. Uh, we have companies that we can recommend for equipment, for ovens, uh, for training. We can help with menu development. We can help with the whole package to be able to get pizza on the menu and get it selling and get people making more money. At the moment, there's a lot of challenges within food service. Um, one of the biggest challenges is making sure menus uh, are simpler, making sure there's less contact and food handling, uh, making sure we've got things on the menu that people are going to want to eat and they're going to want, want to eat regularly and come back for. So that's, that's a big challenge which having pizza on the menu can really help solve. So in future films we're going to be covering how to make the best product you can, how to serve the best product you can. And that's interesting 70%. isn't it because we can, we can make very different dough can't we with, very, with different water percentages. Correct. So, so, so what, what happens if we put more or less water in the dough than every day? So we'll change completely our recipe. We're going to be covering how you deliver the product, so what equipment we might need, what space requirements we might need and that's going to be different for every situation. And then we're also going to cover, once we've got pizza on the menu, how do we then market it and get more people in and get more pizza sold? Uh, the next trending pizza will be the Detroit style pizza. This will be the next, in the next five years time. What's the Detroit style pizza? <laughs> Detroit style pizza is, um, I think I'm from, uh, from Detroit style. It's a pizza baked in a pan. 
But the funny thing with this pizza, there is no tomato, salami, and cheese. They start with the cheese. Uh, salami, meaning the topping, and then the tomato on the top. And butterfat's gonna render out. And basically that's gonna fry the edge of our pizza crust. So and it's very crispy on the bottom and greasy. And uh, of course the top is full of cheese. So the cheese is milky and the caramelized around the edge while the bottom is really crispy. And this is gonna be probably the trend in the UK in the next few years. And even though I don't know much about Detroit pizza, I did instinctively know to eat towards the corner. So that is the last part we eat. Since it's pretty obvious that's the money bite. Okay, so that's our first film. Hopefully it's introduced you to us as a business and what we do and how we can help. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content, which hopefully you will, there's plenty more to come. Please subscribe below, um, hit the link, and we'll see you again soon. So the type of people that this content should be interesting and educate. Oh dear. What's that? It's uh, like a sandwich fan, I think it comes right. <laughs> cool. What a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>